Hey everybody, it's Heather from the Homesteading Hippie again. And as you know, garden season's coming up and spending all day out in the garden can give you some sore, achy, tired muscles. So today we're going to make an herbal sore muscle massage oil. Let's get started. Okay, for this recipe we're going to be using some dried arnica flowers and you can either find this at Mountain Rose Herbs and I'll leave the link in the comments or you can even find it on Amazon. Some dried calendula flowers as well. Again, you can find it at Mountain Rose Herbs, or I'll be showing you how to grow these for yourself in your own garden this year. Dried cayenne pepper, just the stuff from the grocery store, it will work just fine for this recipe. And jojoba oil. You can find this online on Amazon, or you can actually find this at your local health food store. And it's pretty easy to find and fairly cheap to use as well. It's got great anti-inflammatory benefits, which is why we're using it. We're going to go ahead and start by measuring. I'm going to put my bowl on my scale. And for this recipe, we're going to need just 2 grams of arnica flowers and 5 grams of the dried calendula flowers. Now, because we're using this as a medicinal purpose, we want to, try, we want to actually measure it by weight to get the correct dosage amount and make sure that it's not only safe to use but effective. And then to this I'm going to add just a quarter of a teaspoon level of the cayenne pepper and then six tablespoons of jojoba oil. Jojoba oil is very good for this recipe because it's naturally anti-inflammatory which is great for those sore achy joints and knees after a day of gardening. So we're just going to pour that over all the dried flowers. Now don't worry if it doesn't cover it completely, you can kind of we'll stir it down a little bit and kind of mix it in. Now at this point you have two options. You can either A, let it sit covered in a sunny windowsill for about two weeks, stirring and shaking every day or so, and then straining it, or if you're like me and you need it now. We're going to go ahead and put this in a 200 degree oven for two hours. That will allow the herbs to infuse the oil right away and then we can use it within that time frame. So we're going to stick it over in our preheated oven and we'll check it in two hours. And into the oven it's going to go for two hours. Okay, we've let this sit for two hours in the 200 degree oven and then we allowed it to cool a little bit. And now we're going to strain the plant matter out. I have just a measuring cup and a filter and just a regular cotton bandana. You can also use cheesecloth. And we're just going to pour that in there, get as much of the infused oil out as possible. and then we'll just gently squeeze all the infused oil out of the plant matter. You can see that golden color coming right out. Now the plant matter has oil in it so it's probably not going to be very good for your compost so I would just suggest throwing it away in the garbage at this time. And we're just going to pour that in there And this will be good, stored in a cool, dark place for up to about six months to a year. Like this. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for coming over. I hope you enjoyed this video. Check us out on Facebook and our website, thehomesteadinghippie.com. And again, special thanks to our friends at Imagination Studios for his help in making this video tonight. Have a great night. Thank you.